welcome back to another video. Um, I am making a new series of top three. I already made my top three favorite songs, so I guess that will be my top three. I don't think it uploaded yet. It probably did. But yeah, I'm going to start making a series of top three. So yeah, today we are doing top three scariest stories. Some are true. I think two of them are true, and I think one's not true. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're going to watch. Well, we're not really going to watch them. I'm going to say them to you. Mittens is going to be there, but yeah. I'm going to say them to you, and yeah. So, I'll see you when I'm ready for the story. I'm back, and I'm ready. Okay. This one is true. It's about me. So, I obviously know it's true. But yeah. So I was walking, in, I was little, I was little, so yeah. I was walking in the forest. Well, I wasn't really walking in the forest. I was in the yard. We had a really big yard, like, it was like eight yard sticks, I think like 12 yard sticks. We stared, shared it with some of our neighbors, so yeah. It was pretty big. Sorry if the thing, screen's wobbling. As you know, I use a tablet. It's hard to hold if I don't have a stick. So yeah. So anyways, so I was, I was in the yard playing, and we lived by a forest that said no trespassing, you know, but I was little, I didn't know to read, I didn't know, you know, so I saw this really pretty butterfly, it was pink, but, you know, I love butterflies, they were like my favorite animal, so I went following it, it went in the woods, and all of a sudden it turned red, but I still followed it because, you know, I couldn't really see that it turned red. I wasn't focusing on its wings. I was focusing on pretty much the forest because I had run so much I got lost and I couldn't find my way. And I found myself in this place where there was a ton of dolls, old dolls, like they were dead dolls, like a dead doll grave in the forest. It creeped me out. They were, they, it's like they didn't even have any hair. It was really creepy. And yeah, so it kind of creeped me out. So yeah. It was pretty creepy, so, yeah. And I didn't really want it, and I didn't really want to be there, so I tried running back the way I went, and I found out, I heard some voices saying, Lily, you're going the wrong way, because, you know, my name was Lily, and, yeah. And she said it, the voices were, like, nice, soft ones, like angels, and, yeah, so, um, the angel voices said, Lily, it's the wrong way. And all of a sudden, it got a really deep voice, and I thought, I'm going the right way, and I kept going, but they were right, it was the wrong way, and I saw this weird creature sitting by a tree. It's kind of like, have, if you've read or seen the book or movie, Talk Everlasting, it's like the demon was drinking some weird water by a tree, and I just started running, you know, I, I ran and ran, and I was sobbing, and I was sobbing, and I was sobbing, and the creature was chasing me, and then all of a sudden, I fell through the gate, because it was like the ones where it had a line, like, mm, it was like, um, so it's the gates of metal bars, and there was lines, and I jumped over through one of the two bars, and I made it, and I started stumbling to the house, and by then, the creature was climbing up a tree in my yard, and I was inside, yelling at my parents, and I went outside and looked, but the creature was gone, but I still saw it every night looking in my window but yeah it was pretty creepy so yeah i just saw it in my mirror so in my window so yeah that was the first scary movie number one that's probably like the middle scary one it actually is pretty scary but the next one is not that scary because it's fake it's fake but yeah and it's about it's really just a story about what I did to my sister when I got angry. So, yeah. Let's move right to the story. Why did I do that? See you when I'm ready. Okay, the screen's dark for this one because um, it's about Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know if I already said that, but yeah. So, my sister, she loves Five Nights at Freddy's. Loves Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, and so, I said, hey, Five Nights at Freddy's is outside, and I said, I'm not joking, and she started screaming, and she was really upset, and, 
That's really it. It's like, it's not that scary at all, is it? No, no. Like the one before, that one was kind of shuddering ish, but this next one. Oh. So, yeah, guys, I'll see. I'll see you when I'm ready. So, um, say, good, say goodbye to the piggy bank, bud. Bye bye. This next story is the scariest story of all. And this is a true story. Hold on. No, no, no. Don't touch the doll. You'll find out why. Okay. I had to use gloves to get it in here. It's so old. But you'll find out why. My great grandma. Well, she had a doll. This doll. These were really old. And she got it from garage sale. And the people she bought it from said, that's haunted. You won't want to buy that. And she said, but it's pretty. It was brand new. It wasn't haunted looking like this one. And yeah. Um, so... Um, um, she said, I want it. And they said, have it for free. We don't want it. We don't want any of it. So my great grandma took it. She was little by the time, at the time. And she had it ever since. And when I went to her house the other day, she said, don't touch that doll in my room. Don't touch it. And I said, why? And she said, I'm not saying. And I went, I wanted further investigation. So I ran to her friend's house, and I said, what is that doll about? And they said, oh, no, not the doll, not the doll. And I was, I was upset, so, yeah, I was really upset. And, yeah, so, um, uh, I went to another friend, and they said, do you really want to know when I asked them? And I said, yes, I want to know, and they told me that um, my grandma didn't find it at a garage sale. They said that she was in the woods too. She was in the woods when she was little. It was a really haunted wood. She said that she was there and she heard whispers saying, this way, this way. And they said that they were with her and they said, I'm not going. And they went back, but left her with the camera. And it was all on tape, but I don't have the tape anymore. It's one of those old ones. They don't play anymore. But anyways, so my grandma was walking through the woods and found a doll, a really old doll, that old doll, all messed up. She tried to wash it up, but before she did, its arm moved up. and grabbed her wrist. So, yeah. It grabbed her wrist. And she, she started screaming. And she fainted. And the doll threw a knife at her. And from that day on, my great grandma hasn't had uh, her left hand ever since, so. It was really upsetting, but she's okay now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Smash the like button. Hit the bell beside the subscribe button. And make sure you have commented. I will try to say hello to something or something to you guys. You know, like, what's up? And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you next time. Um. Anyways, goodbye. Say goodbye to the creepy. Mittens. Bye, guys.